beauties, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, we're gonna be talking about skin. Yes, I have been through it all. If you guys are some of my OG subscribers, you have seen my struggle from my severe acne days till now, which is a crazy improvement. But if you are new to my channel, don't worry, I'm not that girl to get one zit and be like, let me show you how to cure your acne. It's not what we're doing. So just so I can catch everybody up to speed, this is how bad my acne used to be. Severe cystic acne, and I didn't know if I was ever gonna find anything that was going to actually cure my skin, and I was pretty much just about to give up. Until I discovered Mary Scott skincare. Mary Scott is my esthetician that I've been going to for, how long has it been? At least a year now, and she has completely changed my skin for the better, as you can see, and I saw results after just a couple months. Obviously, everyone's skin is different. I'm not gonna promise anything, because I've been there. I know you've probably tried everything and you wanna give up, but I can guarantee you and promise you that it did work for me. So I am highly confident that if you do live in California and you're able to get to Glendale, California and see Mary Scott, she will help you with your skin. Now today's video is actually not particularly about acne. If you do wanna see those earlier videos where I made where I do talk about my acne treatments that I use and my skincare and how I got to this point, I'll make sure to link those videos after this video and below. But today, we're gonna be talking about dermaplaning. If you don't know what that is, I'm gonna break it all down and show you how it works. Dermaplaning is where a licensed esthetician will take a very sharp scalpel or blade and then they're gonna scrape off all of the dead skin cells on your face and get rid of all that peach fuzz. So ladies, I mean, let's just keep it real. Sometimes we got a little stash going on, hopefully not a full one or a full beard or a goatee, but we do get a little bit of peach fuzz around here, or we get peach fuzz on our face, or maybe our sideburns kind of grow out, and it's just like unnecessary. Like it just needs to go away. I honestly used to just ignore it because fortunately my hair wasn't really like super in your face, but I did try using Nair at one point where you just like put on that cream, let it sit for five minutes and wipe it off. It worked. It wasn't the most effective thing because, I mean, it wouldn't get all of it and it would kind of like really burn after a while if you leave it on too long. So I didn't really like using it and it just smelled like the strongest chemicals ever. Where dermaplaning, no chemicals, no pain. Your esthetician is literally just gonna scrape it all off and you're gonna have beautiful glowing skin. But now let me show you exactly how it's done. I did post a little bit of this dermaplaning on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, you should, at Ms. Bianca Renee. But I was getting questions like, does it hurt? No, it does not hurt. Think about when you shave your legs. It doesn't hurt, or at least it shouldn't. But you do hear like a scraping sound, and it sounds worse than it is, but it does not hurt at all. And if you do go to a professional, you don't have to worry about getting like nicked or cutting yourself. Another question and common like myth and concern is that dermaplaning is going to make your hair grow back faster or thicker. I filmed that appointment a month ago and I just haven't gotten around to posting it. But even now, a month later, like my skin is still really smooth. A little bit of hair has grown back so I probably could do it again now because I have waited a month. But it's not like super dark or noticeable and it's just my normal monthly hair growth. Nothing out of the ordinary. So don't worry about just turning into like a werewolf because you started dermaplaning. I love that sound. Scraping. Some of my favorite things about dermaplaning is that one, it does get rid of that dead skin, so your skin is so soft after. Like you just wanna keep petting your face, which you really shouldn't touch your face. I know Mary's gonna tell us that. But your skin is just so incredibly smooth and hair free. Because you're moving that layer of dull, dead skin, it also makes you look more glowy. Now I will confess, I do have a slight advantage right now because I am pregnant, so I have a little bit of that pregnancy glow and that dermaplaning essence all combined. But you will notice that your skin is brighter because it doesn't have that dull, dead layer of skin just clogging up your pores. It also could help with preventing more acne because you are unclogging your pores by getting off that dead skin. The only downside is with acne is that you actually can't 
Dermaplane if you do have severe acne because the last thing you want to do is rub a blade over all your zits and then like it just that just sounds like a horribly painful popping party. Don't do that. So in the beginning, I could not dermaplane because my skin was just covered in acne. So this is a very proud moment for me because I'm able to kind of graduate from my acne days into the next level of skincare where I could just focus on getting my skin clearer and removing hair and dead skin cells instead of just fighting acne my whole life. Another great benefit to dermaplaning is that when you put on your makeup, it looks so good. I'm sure you might have noticed if you are someone that has like some peach fuzz on your face that when you put on your foundation all those little hairs are kind of like peeking through. But imagine getting rid of all that and now you're just applying your foundation on smooth skin so it just makes everything look so much better for a very flawless foundation application. And because you got rid of all those dead skin cells on your face, it also makes it better and easier for your skincare products to penetrate into your skin because they're gonna go right in there instead of trying to go over this dead layer of skin. Now, depending on where you go, pricing can range anywhere between like 100 to 150, 250 dollars. At Mary Scott Skincare, it is 150 dollars, but you only have to do this like once a month and maybe even longer depending on your personal hair growth. When you go to Mary Scott Skincare, you are getting more than just the actual dermaplaning. She's going to cleanse your face first, she's going to do extraction, she's probably going to do high frequency, you might do a light treatment to kill more bacteria. She also usually ends off all her facials with some type of facial mask depending on what your skin needs. So you're getting like a whole package deal besides just the removing of the peach fuzz and dead skin cells. Aside from going to Mary Scott physically for certain treatments, a big part of my skincare betterment was her personal skincare product line that I still use to this day every morning and every night. So if you guys want to get some of her products, that can even help you even if you are in a completely different state. And of course, I will make sure to link all her information down below in the description box. So definitely check out MaryScottSkincare.com or follow her on Instagram at MaryScottSkincare. You also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. That is usually where I post all of my visits to Mary Scott Skincare so you could see my skin in action while I'm there in my Instagram stories and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.